Hello, welcome, welcome back. Mass change globally happening. Please 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 Why do I say mass global change is happening? When I started off my career, I was recruiting college students for training, training in IT, various different courses. Other than I want to train money in there. And in the training, is running at a very different scale. Training at a different scale now, one technology and which training is rapidly happening. Not just formal process, formal training, formal training, companies are not training, informal trainings. Informal trainings are not only on the technology. I'm talking about Gen AI. Okay, I'm talking about ChatGPT. Majority of you, you must have used ChatGPT somewhere or the other. Now, when the ChatGPT is not going to be hey, you can use the training at the training, you can use the ChatGPT. ChatGPT was launched, you could open your phone, you could open your laptop. Laptop, you could start using it. So there is like intuitive learning. Namle on the Katagoran Chat GPT. Ada Tavara on the companies on the Ursula companies. They've been running this training for their employees at various different levels for the last two years. Thousands of people have been trained on Gen AI using Gen AI tools. Customized tools on the company gaga. As a result of which, it productivity has drastically improved for those organizations and at various levels. Ebrina, even the CEO of the company uses to the accounting folks or the purchasing folks, the pricing folks, marketing teams, content teams, the CFO's office, people who are cutting and pasting constantly. Wherever there is repetitive process, Gen AI has been introduced. Adanala on the productivity has increased drastically. Where I'm taking this now, the amount of training which has happened in a particular technology, this technology surpasses anything else. So that is what I'm talking about, a massive change, shift which is happening right now. So what does that mean? Why in the training, Nala, how does it change? Things are getting much, much faster. But the most important thing which I wanted to tell you about is there are four areas where technology adoption has changed and it continues to move at a faster pace. In the Nala technology, in Solopara technologies, the adoption has been much, much faster. First is computer. Computer, I remember back in the day, in 1987, when I saw the first computer in Trichy. Ramba Urvasi Theater, a computer center. Siva computer, SS computer, something like that. Anga poi na basic padi ke pora, 10 standard. So, at the time, there was a monitor, or a previous CPU, a floppy disk, and there was basic programming. At the time, there was a computer. At the time, there was a computer. At the time, there was a computer. Nothing again, fun, and it was a computer. It is only about writing code. Then what happens from that day till today? If you see, if you have not used a computer, then you will have to rethink because what you have in your hand, your mobile phone, is a computer. It has got such immense computing ability. Anything what your computer can do, your mobile phone can do today. That's how much power it has. So from there till today, you're watching videos, movies, this, that, everything, streaming content from over line content. It took, I'm talking about back in 87, all the way up until like early 2000, you see a lot of graphical content, computers that have evolved. It is continuing to evolve now. And that is how AI is coming into existence. So that is one. Computer had, it took about 20, 30 years for it to become so powerful. When you talk about the next technology, which is about internet. Internet is a technology which got, so today, everybody has a computer. Then let's talk about internet. Internet, India, I want to talk about it. Now, on the first time internet experience, it was in 96. For the first time, I was actually got a hands-on experience on the mother of the TCP IP, the modem which connect on our sound or it will connect to the internet and uh, you can connect to the internet basically. On the time, it will be only lines of content, but one graphic image to load, it will take such a long time. Very, very few websites were there at that time. But from there to early 2000s, right, things had evolved. Internet had got so much adoption. Internet is available almost any part of the world right now. Then you're talking about the mobile network. This is in 99. I bought my phone. I started using the mobile phone. It was too expensive. I decided in six months, I said, cancel the mobile phone no more. Because in the US, a lot of people were using, but I decided decided I'm not going to use a mobile phone. So I got my next mobile phone in about 2005. That is when I got my first mobile phone because by then the adoption had come in and prices when the decrease agaram chitche. The incoming, outgoing, SMS, all that. first SMS the phone It was so exciting. But the adoption took about maybe 10 years and beyond. Global adoption. Today, everybody has a mobile. But the next thing I want you to think about is Gen AI and ChatGPT. It just took two years. Everybody, every company, 
the adoption of Gen AI as a technology is rampant. With that being said, here is what I want you to think about. That is incredible opportunities with Gen AI. I want you to wear a thinking hat and think how you could use Gen AI to create the next thing which does not exist right now. If you are an entrepreneur, this is the time. I want you to think about how you could use such a powerful tool which is available in everybody's hands and you could utilize this tool to bring a change for good or transform the trajectory of people's lives. Let me know what you think about today's content for the time what you've invested. I am forever grateful. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.